So what you're telling me then is glutathione levels go down, I'm going to actually age faster than I would if they were up to an optimal level. Oh, absolutely. Your body works as an electrochemical circuit. And the fact of the matter is this ATP, this energy substance that's produced by little furnaces in each cell in your body that are called mitochondria, are, pr are responsible for each cell functioning maximally. Well, mm -hmm. if your cells are functioning at 50% of maximum, clearly, okay, the problems attendant with that is you lose energy, you lose the ability to exercise, and all the other things that have been talked about with regard to aging. Does GSH play any role in my body's ability to fight off uh, uh, infection or disease or um, even, I, you know, I've heard, for example, that heart disease today, they're telling us, is as much a function of uh, inflammation as it may be from other causes. Absolutely true. There was a researcher 30 years ago who posited that inflammation was really responsible for heart disease. And unfortunately, that was rather shunned by the medical community until 2002 when it suddenly became, oh, well, we forgot about inflammation and it really is important. So anything that will decrease inflammation will protect things. Now, let's define what I mean by decreasing inflammation. Inflammation comes by, from too many of those oxidants, those burning factors that are not countered by antioxidants. And again, glutathione being the top of the antioxidant chain, it's the one I'd clearly like to have the most of. Now, what makes uh, Max GXL different from other similar kinds of products? If you Google glutathione, you will find that 80% of the products are actually glutathione themselves. That's a fallacy because if you ingest glutathione, it will be broken up into its component parts by the acid in the stomach and will never get into your body in a form that your body can use it. The fact is, we spent three years doing a number of experiments to find the appropriate ingredients at the exactly correct amounts to allow it to, one, get through the stomach, two, be preferentially absorbed, because not everything you put in your, in your mouth gets absorbed into your body, and three, and this is the real trick, it has to get through two membranes. One is at the entrance to the cell, and then the second one is into this furnace called the mitochondria. Mm. And so we created a very unique formula, which, by the way, was given a composition patent, which is usually reserved only for ethical drugs, that would promote absorption, get it to where it should be, mm. and say to the body, you can do anything you want with it, but oh, by the way, the easiest thing you can do, and the body will always take the path of least resistance, is to make glutathione. And you've actually done blood tests on groups of patients that have shown the difference before they get on this formula, uh, and then after they've been on it for anywhere from three to six months. Yes, we have, and we developed a proprietary test that measures glutathione in lymphocytes. So it's real-time data. And the fact of the matter is, using that test, we did normal basing, which I think is probably low, and then we did patient groups. Found the patient groups were significantly decreased, and after being on Max GXL for a period of time, sometimes as little as a week, but it continued to increase over months, not only got to normal, but got to higher than what we found as normals. Now, how does it create such a jump? I noticed, for example, on the normal patients, uh, in the test that we have on our website, it went from a, uh, a numerical value of around uh, 123 all the way up over 300. Mm -hmm. I noticed that on your HIV patients, it went from a numerical value of 48 uh, to 200. That's a 400% increase. What is actually happening that causes that kind of an incredible increase? Well, there's another little wrinkle with Max GXL that is not present in virtually any other product. And that is not only do you get to make glutathione, once the glutathione is used up, taking care of one of these little fires, it's regenerated so the body can use it again. How does it do that? Because a number of the substance we put in, and I'm not gonna go through the molecular chemistry of it, in essence, take the spent glutathione and remanufacture it. Wow. 
give me just a summary of the benefits. I know what I've seen, okay? And I did, um, I had a major inflammation problem that I don't like to talk about because it's very personal. And I saw an incredible result with that after 20 years of, of having this one particular problem. And, um, but give me some of the general things people can expect when they get their glutathione levels back up. Rather than give you a list of what I think, okay, I'm just gonna tell you some of the things the patients have told me. Because this was created because of the patients in my clinic. It was not an ex vacuo idea. It was really predicated on real people with real problems. These are the things that they've told me. Suddenly my energy is back to where it used to be. Gee, doc, I'm starting to think like I used to do. Gosh, when I go to the gym now, I can actually work out because one of the things that's not well known is that in the first 10 minutes of aerobic exercise, you burn 40% of the glutathione in your muscle. In the same kind of fire reaction that we're talking about, for anything that goes on in your body. And if you don't have a way of replacing it, you're in trouble. You're not gonna have good exercise. Soreness is created when you expend what is called the oxygen debt in your body. Basically, you can't make the fire anymore because the antioxidant glutathione is gone. Mm. So the body converts to what's called anaerobic glycolysis. Big name simply means it burns sugar without oxygen. It results in the accumulation of lactic acid, and lactic acid is the thing that hurts after you, bur after you work out. So by increasing the glutathione, you decrease the lactic acid, and by doing that, you can work out more frequently because your muscles recover quicker. The more ATP, the more energy the cell can produce, the better every cell works, whether that's a brain cell, a muscle cell, a heart cell, a liver cell, it really doesn't matter. So his springs are muscle cells. Right. So if you increase the efficiency of those cells by decreasing that oxidation, that burn, by increasing glutathione, sure, they're gonna work better. Now, I'm not gonna tell you this is a magic pill right. and that it's going to take care of ed everything. But the fact that it, it works in every cell in the body and the fact that it can increase the energy production, which is basically functionality for that cell, mm -hmm. is obvious to me that it's gonna work in virtually any condition. I'll give you a perfect example. There are a lot of patients in the United States with chronic obstructive lung disease caused by smoking and bad air and a number of other things. This doesn't treat it but it will do two things. One, it will decrease the inflammation in the lungs so that in point of fact, they can work better. And as importantly, one of the problems with chronic obstructive lung disease is that the lungs get stiff mm -hmm. and the muscles in your ribs mm -hmm. have to work harder to get the air into there. Mm -hmm. Muscles work on glutathione. Mm -hmm. So by improving the lung function, and improving the muscle function, you're not gonna make the illness go away, but you're certainly gonna improve the quality of life of people who are afflicted with that illness. Mm -hmm.